Hello everyone, my name is Mike. In this video, I'll show you how you can send messages in WhatsApp from your React.js website using Node.js as the API. So I have made a similar video on this on how to send WhatsApp messages in Node.js. But in this video, we'll be using React and Node.js and it will be from our website. So we'll be able to enter the phone number, the message, get the QR code, scan it from our WhatsApp app and then send the message. And also we can deploy this website on Heroku, which I'll show you on this video as well. So let me show you a quick demo first. We have entered a phone number here, which has the country code in the first, no spaces in between and no plus sign on the front. And on the message, let's do test 444. I'll click get the QR code. Okay, there is a QR code. I'll scan it with my WhatsApp app. And let's go up in our backend console. It says sending message and message sent. So let's go back to our WhatsApp app. I'll click use here because it logged me out. And there it is, test 444. I just noticed you cannot see the code, so I'll just move my camera. And you can see it right here, test 444. So yeah, let me move me back in. So yeah, let me show you how you can do that on code. If you are enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the like button. I'll really appreciate it. And also subscribe. I'm trying to hit those 1000 subscribers so I can monetize my videos and invest everything back into this channel for better content and more content of course. So yeah, back into the video. So let's start from the back end. We use Express to create our API routes and course to allow requests between the front end and back end. Then we create an API route slash API, a post. And then we grab the phone and the message from the body. Then we use the WBM module and we start it with few options. We say give us the QR code as a result and the QR code data is just a string. And that string we send back to the front end. And here we use a module called QR code.react and that's how we generate the QR code here. So we give it that string and it translates it to this. It just generates this. So that's how we are able to send the QR code from the Node.js to React. And everything else here is really simple. We have some use states for loading phone message. Then we send the phone and message to our slash API route. And then we save the result, the string to our QR code state. And we give that state to our QR code module as a value. Now let's go back to our backend. So after we get the QR code data, we send that to the front end. And here we wait until we scan the QR code. And when that's scanned, we send a message to those phone numbers. So you can do multiple phone numbers. But here I hard coded to only accept one, but you can do comma, another phone number, another phone number, and you can do unlimited phone numbers. And here we just close the WPM. We just stop it. You can go on NPM, search for WPM, or you can find the link down in the description. And you have the documentation here. But I have done some changes here, so I have grabbed the code and I use it as a file and not as a module from node module folder. Because what I had to do in order to deploy it on Heroku is to add some arguments here, and there wasn't an option on documentation for that so I had to kind of customize the code 
but everything else is similar so check the documentation here if you want to pass any other options so let's go back to our code here wbm is using puppeteer and what it does it goes to web.whatsapp.com website so it's a web version of whatsapp and whatsapp gives you a code here which you can scan from your phone and it allows you to log into your account and send messages and everything like the whatsapp desktop so puppeteer gets the qr code and once you scan it you allow puppeteer access to your whatsapp and puppeteer is just a, a web scrubbing module so yeah you are not allowing a service access you are just allowing your own code access so now let's go ahead and deploy our app the first thing is to make sure we can get static folders from the client folder so the front end to our back end so i'm using express static and i'm serving the index folder which will be inside the compiled code of the front end so every request we get so the slash that we will get so the, when the user wants to go to the home page it will be sent on the back end but we will use the build folder to show that page so now what we have to do is open the terminal cd to our frontend folder do npm run start actually no npm run build you do the compiling and we wait actually while we wait we can create a new repository on our github let's name it whatsapp in react.js and node.js really just that okay that's great now let's do public because i want to search the github code which will be down in the description i'll do create a repository now let's go back to our code now we'll do get init git add dot git commit so just copy paste that command copy paste the remote add then we will do git push u origin on on master if you want to deploy it with heroku cli check my last video i did with Heroku CLI and GitHub, it's almost the same process, but we will take an extra step. And what that will do is allow us to deploy Puppeteer on Heroku, which I'll show you in a bit how to do that. So let's check. Okay, we deployed on GitHub. Now let's go ahead and go to our Heroku. So in our Heroku, we'll create a new app make sure it's europe now I'll do whatsapp react js it's not a viable okay one three okay create an app now we will connect to github and we will do whatsapp And there it is, connect. We will enable automatic deploys and we will deploy branch. Right now it will not work, we have to take an extra step. The const path equal require. And I think it's path. Now make sure you remove one dot here, as that's the wrong path we need client which is in the same folder so we will do only one dot now next step is to go on settings and add the two build bugs one is node.js we just click add the build bug node.js save changes and then the next one 
just copy paste it from the description and it's a puppeteer build pack which will allow us to run puppeteer which is wbm main module another thing is to make sure you remove slash build from dot git ignore inside react because we want to build folder when we are on production as we are loading the front end from there in our node.js on our static now after we complete those steps go back in heroku and click deploy branch so my app is deployed we will click view and there it is so let me enter a phone number also make sure you have a country code on the number now on the message i'll do 888 i'll do get qr code now let me scan the qr code and as you see it does log me off of my whatsapp so it should be sending the message and if we click use here there it is 888 actually you cannot see that so let me move my camera and there it is 888 so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos also let me know down in the comments what would you like to see next or if you have any questions about this video so yeah see you next video bye bye